Understood. Understood. Got it. Are you also, uh, from an FII standpoint, uh, you, you of course went and met, uh, you know, investors in the US in Boston, as you correctly mentioned. What's the mood like over there? Because you're seeing the US tenure head consistently higher, even though at every point, people are asking questions as to whether this is the top. So where do you see the top here? And what's your sense based on uh, everyone that you're meeting? Uh, I think uh, after a certain point, uh, they, every rise is going to be so much more difficult. So I don't see that on a sustained basis, uh, it can ever be more than five. Sustained basis, if I have to put a, a mathematics to it, a one month average. We look at average of the uh, 10 year yields rather than the specific point. If the average is moved, one month moving average moved more than five, I would be very, very surprised. Sure. It will not happen. So if we are at the top, point one. Point two, every time it raise, rises, they're closer to that. That implies that there is an opportunity for you to buy equities. Understood. Uh, third, I personally think that uh, from, a, from a domestic standpoint, uh, we have seen that there is a strong correlation between FII short positions if, they're, if they, in the futures market, if they cross 80, uh, those are times to buy. And Got I've backtested this, and this is one of the best predictors of the short-term move. If FIR long and short, which I'm sure most of us track, I tried to backtest that. If decisions were taken on the basis of the long and short, anytime it crossed 80 on either sides in the opposite direction, the strike rates have been 85%.